Which style and subject are you giving Bobby? I'll go for color realism and subject matter landscapes. Oh my God. Anything that is what you'd take a photograph on holiday. Evil, bro. That's diabolical as <laughs> Woo! Today, you must tattoo naturescapes. What? Oh my God. Whether it's a rugged mountain range, an arid desert, or an underwater scene, you must rely on dimension to bring these naturescapes to life. I told you it was gonna be easy. It hurts. Naturescapes are difficult because they have a lot of different elements in them. Different textures with different leaves, natural elements. There's a lot that goes into them. Every elimination from this point on will be a key player. Do what you have to do so that you beat everybody else out in the room. Don't go to survive, go for a win. Yeah, we got this. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm into that. I'm gonna have the steer coming out, show perspective. Show me foreground, show me background, show me perspective, dimension, things that will make a naturescape come to life. Be gentle, I'm ticklish. Let's get to it. Tip for differ. What's up? Not man, I'm just checking it out. I have been on the top this whole competition and I'm still in my head every tattoo I go into. I'm nervous, but I'm not gonna let this affect my ability to do a solid tattoo. He can come in here all he wants. It's not gonna shake me up at all. Today, you had to show Dimension tattooing a nature skate. Team Clean, you are up. Tiffer. Beautiful tattoo. You really see the dimension and the depth of the road winding back. I love the negative effect of the trees framing it out. I also really like that you were able to use your shading in the mountain range in the background to show the curvature of the mountain itself, as opposed to just a silhouette of mountains. You can really feel the landscape of something that far away. Strong outing for dimension and for technical application. Kyle. As far as tattooing and technical application, you do a great job here. It's a rougher call for me on the dimension side of this. You do get the picture that the boat is not sitting on the beach and it's definitely behind the surfboard and palm tree. Obviously you have foreground, obviously you have background. In this style of tattooing, you're not gonna nail dimension as much as some people that hit realism, but this is one of the cleanest, brightest, and most legible tattoos of the day. You did a great job. Thank you. Team Christian, you're up. Jess. You definitely capture depth, shadow coming off of the wolf there on that rock, nice texture in the rock. Then off in the distance, you have two little wolf silhouettes. Man, that is a tiny section of the tattoo, but it plays so legibly. The little details you have in the tree look nice. They don't look like the same tree cookie cutter across. You made a lot of smart decisions and that paid off. Chris. I really like the water. I love how you played with focus in this thing to show distance. The black and gray shading is really beautiful throughout the stream and the areas in the foreground. The open tree stump adds a definite layer of dimension. The babbling brook is achieved. TJ. He definitely hit the landscape. I love the curved palm tree. I like the dark sky. I like the way that you did the clouds. The part of this tattoo that's a little bit tough to read is from the land to the water to the sky. The sky and the water have the same tone. If you would have just made one a little darker, one a little lighter, it would have been more definitive where that line is. But it's a beautiful tattoo with a lot of detail. Best tattoo of the day, who takes it down? My vote is for Tiffer. I mean, you can't deny that mountainscape and that soft light that's breaking through. Shadows are wrong, though. The sun is behind the mountain. It's not going to be as bright. It's a good try. It's a haze. It's not a sun. That tattoo is perfect. My vote is for Tiffer. My vote is also for Tiffer. The best that's... tattoo of the day goes to Tiffer. Runaway train, my friends. You guys better take a wheel off that thing. Today, you must put your composition skills to the test and create negative space tattoos. What? Just as negative space can transform the way you look at things, you must change your perspective and create a masterpiece out of what is not there. Say that in English. 
Negative space is purposely leaving something untattooed. Just tattooing an image like you're used to, you're just flipping it and just tattooing the background instead to cut out your image. We're looking for the actual negative space to be the heart of the tattoo, so everything around it has to accent it and flow with it. How do I create a negative hand without yeah. lines? That's the tricky thing with the fingers. You can't put those fingers in without them being lined. We're basically looking for any silhouette that they put in to be defined by whatever background they choose. Damn, dude. Smooth. After winning Tattoo of the Day, finally, I'm feeling super confident, super comfortable. This is a new feeling for me. You're showing off, dude. It's not good to show off, man. In this, in Ink Master, I think it's good to show off. I think I actually found my groove 100%. That's good, dude. <laughs> Today, you were being tested on composition with negative space tattoos. Let's see how you did. Team Anthony, you're up. Juan. Juan, I really love this tattoo. It's super powerful. It's a great composition. The way you have negatives coming in and then stark black images right behind those negatives, it creates a strong border and it's really well balanced. You threw some really nice detail in this thing. I really love what you did with these vines wrapped around the trees there. What I love about this is the really soft lighting that you have coming off of the moon, going back into the night sky, really giving this thing a sense of depth. That is a really strong play here for you. Okay, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Blonde, rich black and that gray behind it, this is the stage of the competition where that little thing can edge one out of the other. For that reason, I'm going with Juan. My vote's for Juan. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Juan. Congratulations, Juan. Woo! Today, you must tattoo a black and gray, realistic U.S. landmark. What? Shit. Wow. Today is a great day. We had the skull pick, and we're doing a black and gray challenge. My team, that's our specialty. So you stand no chance, brothers. One of you is going home. It's like portrait day on crack. Today, who's going to win? The person that does the smoothest transitions, uses the most gradation, shows us in places where they can make it really stark and have strong contrast, and in other places where they can push and blend something out smooth. That's going to put you in the top. It's going to be a good day. Let's meet your canvases. What do you want to get tattooed? Black and gray, Taos Pueblo in New Mexico. What is that? I don't know. These canvases are on fire today. These are all bombs. Canvases, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Angel. What's up? You'll have six hours to tattoo a black and gray, realistic US landmark. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be going home. Good luck. Lots of little details going on here. I wish it didn't have to hurt. I'm doing the Taos Pueblo. Bob told me it's a big rock formation, but turns out it's an entire town made out of adobe. It's like one of the most detailed tattoos I've ever done, I'm not gonna lie. Black and gray realism is my specialty. If I don't nail every single ledge and window and stair in this tattoo, I'll never hear the end of it. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray, realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. Angel. You took a smart approach to this tattoo because it is illustrated. You have a lot of smooth shading. You have areas to transition. All the negative in the face of these buildings shines so bright because you put the mountain behind it dark. You put the ground in front of it, medium tone. It's really legible, it's really clear, but this is a New Mexico Pueblo. Mm -hmm. That is a saguaro cactus. It only grows in Arizona. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is my bad. But overall, I think it's a very smart play on how to attack this. Thank you. Kill it. Good job, Angel. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, Jarrell, your black and gray in the lighthouse is the best black and gray in the room today. Thank you. I really love what Angel did. When you see Angel's finished tattoo, where all the bells and whistles are on the whole landscape, it tells a better story and is a better all-around tattoo. Final decision. Final decision is Angel because Jarrell didn't finish his drawing. Thank you. My vote is also for Angel. <sighs> cool. <laughs> the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. Today, each of you will have the power to call out another artist. 
each other over. <laughs> this is brittle. The artist you call out must tattoo in whatever style and subject you decide. Oh, shit. This is like a skull pick shot times 20. We can choose anything, and I know everyone's weakness here. Freddy. Yes. Which artist do you want to call out? I feel like I've kind of danced in the top two with Bobby for a few challenges, so I'm going to pick Bobby. Which style and subject are you giving Bobby? I'll go for color realism and subject matter landscapes. Oh my god. Anything that is what you'd take a photograph on holiday. Evil, bro. That's diabolical as Woo! I love that fam. Your canvases are completely open and have been randomly assigned. The road to the finale starts right now. Show us what you're made of. Get to work on your designs and we'll send in your canvases. Good luck. Freddie took a good shot. I've never done a landscape before. Just wanna do a clean, cool tattoo. I'm gonna pick a subject matter to focus on. I'm gonna give that thing a background and I'm just gonna have a great time with this. I grew up crazy poor. So getting into tattooing and making money is crazy. If you would have told little me that I would have accomplished all of the things in my career, even up to this point of this competition, I wouldn't have believed you. I want to showcase what I can do and I want to win. Tattooing is a crazy thing. I love it so much. Yesterday, you had to tattoo in the style and subject determined by another artist. Before we critique your work, there is one thing you should know. Oh, shit. DJ, what's that phrase you were saying the other day? What goes around comes around? No, no, that's not it. You get what you give? No. Reap what you sow? Mm, almost. Karma's a bitch. Oh, no, of course. No. <laughs> you had the power to call out another artist. Hopefully, you didn't dish out more than you can take. <laughs> to prove you deserve a spot in the finale, you must also tattoo in the same style and subject that you called out. I'm glad I didn't say bye on that canal. <laughs> My spot in the finale is at stake. This has to be the best tattoo I've done since I've been here. You weren't too bothered to get handed back what you gave? No, I think everyone assumes like landscapes are boring but it's fun to frame it nicely. I'm doing a rolling hill countryside landscape framed by these poppies. Does that remind you of home? <laughs> it does actually. Yeah. I don't have this like big group of tattooists kind of cheering me on. I literally just have my family and my partner and my pets <laughs> and taking the title back there just is, yeah, just be really cool. This week, you had to call out one of your opponents assigning them a style and subject. You then had to tattoo in the same style and subject that you assigned, giving us a direct comparison. Bobby. You were called out by Freddie with a color realistic landscape. Number one thing I look at when I look at color realism, does the foreground play into the background? I don't think it hits color realism 100%. You could have put even a little more detail in areas, use your whites a little bit more where the light's kind of coming through the tree and put some more texture to certain areas that would be more in focus. I mean, the most realistic part is those cliff rocks. You know, the Those are truth. sick with the light on them. I love this tattoo. It's super clean, it's really pretty, and it still feels like you. Freddie. you called a color realistic landscape. When you look at the brook and all of the rocks, it's really successful. It's soft, it's light. You can tell it's a bright, sunny day. There's a reflection on the water. It's really great realism. I think you just lost a little bit in the grass. I would have really loved to see more green values. You know, something more intense, bright. You kind of get lost between the water and the grass. But I love the way that it was framed in. Those really super close foreground flowers were such a cool idea. This is is the super unexpected creative approach that I do expect from you. Thank you. 